Hey Excelers, get ready for a game-changing tip, Mail Merge. Say goodbye to repetitive typing. With Mail Merge in Excel, you can personalize and send vast letters in a snap. Just link Excel Word, run the wizard, and boom, but wait, there's more. You can even customize the email content based on the recipient info. It's amazing, trust me. Check out the video for a quick example. So most of the time when we're trying to transfer data from Excel to Word, we want to do something like communicate, right? We don't basically want to just take the table here and copy it into Word. Basically, that's just copy and paste. Let's say, for example, we're a car dealer and we see that we've got a list of people that have got these make and model, year make and models. And we want to offer them a letter saying, hey, you might want to change your car and come in and buy a new car. So we'll do a mail merge. So we'll go to Microsoft Word and here's a blank Word document. And the easiest way that we can do this is under the mailings group, there's already kind of a set group to let you do it. And let's just do something simple, like a simple introductory letter. Now, you may think I'll go start mail merge, I can go to letters and go through the step process, but don't do it that way. Use the wizard. And if you do use the wizard, it's gonna kind of step you through it. And it's got a couple steps, right? You can see steps one through six. We want a letter. Okay, let's do that. Let's start the document. In here, we can choose, let's use the current document. Let's start a clean slate, or you can try to use one of the templates or an existing document. Let's use the current document. We're gonna fill it out and start typing some stuff. Now, we're gonna select our recipients. And where are our recipients? That was from that Excel file. You know, we have our columns that are the headers and each row is a record. So let's browse for it. I find my file, double click that and it's gonna open it up. It's found that data in that file. Click okay. Here it's giving you the list of data to review. You can uncheck ones that you don't want. I want them all, so I'm gonna select everything. You can see that it's got my list of people and their cars. Click okay. So once we selected it, we're gonna go into our next step where we're gonna write our letter. And here we have the building blocks of the letter. So here's some items that are already kind of pre-formatted for us. So the address block. So here it's going to give you the address block. So it's going to take that information that we had in the Excel, first, last name, address, uh, city, state, zip, and uh, you can choose the format you want it in. If you don't want it in this default format, maybe you just want the first name, that's fine too, but I'm going to go ahead and just stay with this one that it gave for me. Click OK. It'll give me this predefined address block. This is a placeholder for the first name, last name, and the address block. So don't worry about this. If it doesn't look normal, it, it, it will when you go and view it. Press enter a couple times. Let's say I want to have a greeting line. I'm going to press enter again. And the greeting line here, it will be two. Again, it's going to show you the example. And let's use two. There sounds a little formal. And it's going to give you the example here. Maybe we just want to have the first name in this case now. And so I'm going to find the first name here. Oh, let's see. Let's try to do the first name. Click OK. And it's going to have that first name. Press enter a couple more times. So let me start to write my letter. And here I stopped here because maybe I want to add in some of the information from the Excel. So go to more items. Maybe here we'll say, we noticed your late model Toyota Corolla or something like that. So we're going to say, make, click that. Do we want to add something else? Oh, okay. Let's add, make, let's add our model, maybe Toyota and Corolla. Close that. Maybe I want to add some more stuff here. And here I want to add back model. You can use it more than once. So I'm going to add back in model. Click insert, click close. Let's add another reuse block here. So there's a relatively short letter and now we can preview it. And here you can see, you can start to preview the letter. Maybe we don't want too many of the spaces here, right? There's too much space here. There's too much space in between here. And if we look at everything else, it looks okay. Let's see how it looks for our other recipients. Chevalier, Poncho, oh, they all look pr pretty good. Let's go back and change some of the formatting here. Let's double click this. A short menu comes up. Let's look at line spacing. Now we wanna go to the line spacing options. And what I wanna do, I wanna make sure and check here the spacing before and after, it's eight points. So we don't want anything after it to be eight points. Let's just make it zero. And so they all kind of meld together. Click okay, and let's check. Uh, looks like it took. Let me go back to recipient one, recipient one, and that took. All right, let's change this. We don't want that there. Go back here and delete that. And go next, and we could preview it. 
Everything looks good. Look at our other recipients again. They all look good. Click next. And this is when we could print it out. So here, this is when you connect it to your printer and you can print out these lovely letters to try to make more sales. So did Mail Merge blow your mind? It's like the ultimate combo of two awesome Microsoft tools that just make your life so much more simpler. Say goodbye to manually typing repetitive letters. Why waste your time when you can automate the process? Give it a shot and watch your productivity go up. Don't forget to click the banner at the end for more cool videos like this. Catch you later.